defined as a three-dimensional, immersive and unified virtual world, the metaverse recently regained in media interest, media hype, just uh, to show this interest fade away shortly afterward. And uh, this excitement, new excitement around the metaverse was sparked by an announcement uh, by uh, Mark Zuckerberg wanting to invest massively into the development of the metaverse, 10 billion uh, dollars, considering it as the future of the internet. As we are quite old researchers, we were immediately reminded of a similar trend about two decades ago when the virtual social world Second Life gained popularity. And at that time, we started in a series of research projects looking into how companies can use these spaces, as well as how consumers use them and how they can specifically be used for retailing. Unfortunately, at the time, our work got published after the peak around Second Life had already vanished. This time was a similar story. We were really excited about this new popularity and we started a series of projects, including this special issue of the California Management Review. Well, and it seems, again, our publications came a little bit after the hype. Well, first of all, I want to mention that we are not old, but experienced. Then, obviously, it is a legitimate question to ask why this hype uh, has faded away so quickly and uh, also why it uh, arrived in, in the first place. And while it is true that uh, during the last two decades, technology or technologies behind the metaverse immensely have improved, there's still no killer application, no application uh, that is used by the masses. Given this lack of a killer application, it's an interesting question to ask why the announcement of Mark Zuckerberg created such a hype. And on the one hand, it's probably related to the COVID-19 pandemic and the fact that the metaverse offered the possibility or opportunity for people to socialize in virtual spaces when socialization in real life was not possible. Now, the reason why interest has reduced over the recent years is probably twofold. First, there is the rise of generative AI and specifically of applications like ChatGPT that offer a much more immediate business impact. And on the other hand, virtual worlds are associated with huge sustainability concerns, mostly related to their energy consumption that still have to be addressed. Well, despite these drawbacks, there is still plenty of use cases and uh, best practices showing the potential of the metaverse. Just think of virtual meetings, uh, potentially avoiding the so-called Zoom fatigue uh, you get uh, through more traditional online meetings. Think of education and uh, immersive learning experiences in virtual spaces, virtual environments or even the fashion industry, uh, which might have tapped into an entirely new market designing and selling virtual clothes for stylish avatars. True, there are use cases, but looking at the bigger picture, I think um, we both are not necessarily in agreement. On the one hand, you can argue that virtual worlds are just an extension of gaming worlds, like Fortnite, for example, where people already socialize in virtual spaces. And on the other hand, maybe one day there will be a killer application and maybe one day virtual worlds will become a standalone business opportunity. So we are quite in disagreement on this, but that's not the only time this happens. Well, um, but we do agree on two things. First, um, the metaverse or to really tap into the potential of the metaverse, you need to be creative and you cannot just replicate the real world. And second, uh, the potential of the metaverse is too big to ignore. So all the companies, corporations, we would advise to gain an expertise about virtual environments, about virtual worlds, the metaverse, uh, in order to be ready for what might come next. So in essence, it is better to be safe than sorry.